We start tonight with the search for a missing mother of five in southeast Michigan. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brian Abel and I'm Glenda Lewis, Michigan State Police executing new searches in the disappearance of Dee Warner. The mother of five last seen at her Lenaway County home in April of 2021. Family tells 7 Action News police are now searching 10 different properties. We've learned they are rescanning spots they already searched as well as new spots. 7 Action News reporter Amira David is live tonight in Lenawee County and Amira. Do we know what prompted this new series of searches? The short answer to that is no, we don't. And good evening, Brian and Glenda. Right now I'm on Onstead Highway. This is in Cambridge Township, one of many sites where search crews set up shop today. The family of D Warner with cautious optimism this evening, telling me they are hopeful this will help break apart a now two year long mystery. Kind of information could have brought this and propagated this kind of an intense search of this magnitude after two years. Greg Hardy has long been saddled with questions and frustration. This after his sister Dee Warner, a mother of five, went missing in April of 2021 near Tecumseh, Michigan. There's still a need and a concern to find the, the, the remains of my sister. The family, who has all but presumed her dead, now looking for closure on what they say was a beautiful life led. She was a person I think I've quoted been quoted lots of times the life of the party, uh, a person who would want to be your friend immediately. Hardy and D's four adult children, along with state and local authorities, have searched tirelessly for the 52 year old mother without any major breaks. Now frustrated with limited communication by authorities. At this stage, I mean, we're not in the early midst of a, a couple of months, we're in two years. And there's been a lot of interaction by the family. So the family kind of feels like it's, it's unilateral, where we're working a lot with private investigators, et cetera. We're not getting much back. Last year, the case was turned over from Lenaway County to state police, who didn't immediately answer our requests for comment. The family, Reports being told the massive search today spanned multiple sites, including here at a property owned by Dee's husband, Dale, who remains a person of interest in the case, though he vehemently denies involvement. What would it mean to you to get a break in this case? Oh, it'd be everything. Having something actually break would be a, a phenomenal event for the family. And I also spoke today with Dee's daughter, Raquel. She is trying to keep hope alive, but of course it's challenging. She tells me she does very much look forward to the day where she can get her desperate questions answered. And we want to remind our viewers that if you have any information whatsoever in the case, the case of the disappearance of Dee Warner, there is a Michigan State Police tip line you can use. That number is 855-MICH-TIP, 855-M-I-C-H-T-I-P. I'm in Cambridge Township, Amira David, 7 Action News. And we are hoping for her family, Amira, that that time is now. Thank you for the update.